So today we're going to talk about how to care for autosynclus. Um, autosynclus are a tiny, there's, they're in the family of catfish, and they're algae eaters, and that's usually why people buy them. And autosynclus, they come from, they come from the South American, the warm, more warm water slash rivers part of South America. Um, so when setting up a tank. Number one thing is I think you definitely need to have a planted tank. Um, they do best in what planted tanks. They do, as you can see, they they love they love um, feasting on the rocks in the tank, the plants, and obviously they'll clean those off very well for you. And first thing I would number one thing is to keep them in groups. I mean, five six. Is a, is just fine, but what I like to do is like in this tank, I have about 20, 15, 20 in here. I haven't really counted um, autosynclus in here, and they do so much better in groups, and they're actually more fun to watch in groups. They they like to play. They, they as you can see right here, they stay in groups, and they just swim around together, and they're more they're more really fun to watch in groups. So autosynclus. Um, they're kind of um, a pleco. If you, I think everybody knows what those are, um, like plecos, they're 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 kind of similar, the way they're shaped and the, the mouth and the kind of whole structure. Um, but they're just a little different. We can focus on so you guys can get a better look at them. They got kind of a darker. This is just the regular autosynclus. I forget the exact species because they're different species, but. Um, Usually they just have a dark body, and this one, this species in particular, has you know a black stripe right down the body with a red, you know, with a white underbelly, and then has more of a gray on the top. And as you see, they kind of like like they look like mini sharks with their fin structure, but they only grow to be about inch, inch and a half. I mean. I, I've heard people say two inches. I mean, I don't really. They definitely can get there, but they're more than likely they're just gonna stay around an inch, inch and a half. Let's see if we can get. Um, and as they get older, quick little. This one's actually older. I don't know if I can get a really good shot of him. This is actually an older autosynclus, and see how he's more of a brown and his colors kind of get faded. Um. I don't know if this is a known fact, but what I've seen is autosynclus kind of tend to get lighter in color over time. But you can actually see that how that one's actually bigger than the other, than the one next to it. Um, the rest of these are pretty much babies, but they're, they they grow pretty fast. And mine mine got up to size pretty quick. Mine are about an inch right now. But basic care. Definitely have an established tank. Do not put these as your first fish. Um, I had fish in here before, but it, it, people that have watched know what happened there. But so right now, there's just all sinkless in this tank. But this tank was already way established, so it's perfectly fine for me to add them in here. But they're really sensitive. They definitely die very easily, and so definitely have a very established tank before doing this. And as I said before. Planted tank is best, you know, I got a pretty good, I need to kind of wipe down the glass, kind of a, giving a weird glare, but see, I got a pretty good planted tank going here, and, you know, whatever you want to do, it's fine, but definitely, definitely have more of a, you know, this is ADA substrate, um, more of a planted substrate, there's sand, I wouldn't put them in gravel, I just wouldn't, I mean, you could do it if the gravel wasn't sharp or anything, but with, with with fish like this, I would, I wouldn't try it. And last thing about tank setup, if you have intakes like this, like I have, because I have two 50s on here, or a 50 and a 30, um, try to put um, a sponge intake over it. Aquarium Co-op sells them. Um, very easy to get. Actually, he's the only one that really sells the one that actually does well. The one that has, you know, the covered bottom. So if you go to his website, you can definitely get them. Um, I don't have them on mine just because I'm kind of risking it. But these fish will definitely get stuck in the intakes if they get close or try to, like, 
get close to it and try to attach to attach to the intake and sometimes their fins get stuck and you don't even know it and and they end up dying from it because they can't even get away so I would definitely just be a mind of that now the feeding the really as you know like when you have constant food like algae and, or brown algae build up in your tank they're constantly gonna have food to eat but definitely throw in for what I like to do is maybe every couple of weeks throw in, throw in three or four and however many you think you need um, some tabs um, like you'd feed your um, plectos or um, quarries whatever and I just I think I used the ones from Hateri and or Hitachi um, and I just throw a couple in and they'll just eat it over the night usually but just make sure you always keep us you know throw in actual food here and there you know don't rely on them just to feed on you know algae and um, other things you're tank. just be aware of that so tank makes um, really any community fish these these are peaceful so I mean anything will work any schooling fish any tetra any res boars grommies whatever you want plectos uh, I mean pleco um, and shrimp will work too um, all the snails I got a lot of ram horn snails in here as you can see I actually didn't really want this many snails they just end up breeding so I kind of have a lot in this Monte Carlo bed but um they do really well just don't put them with like any type of like cichlid I think Germans and Bolivian rams would probably do well um I just want just don't do any any other cichlid though because that's just going to be a nightmare and on the um pleco um they do just fine. I actually have them with the pleco all the time in my bigger tank. Just kind of beware because every fish is different. Sometimes they do like to attack auto sink lists. Some don't. So I would just be aware of that. But any other fish, community fish, any, te I mean, like I said before, I mean, anything goes great with these fish. Nothing minds them. They just do what they do um, and don't really bother anything. But these fish... I, I like to keep them because I actually like them and I just like, I really like watching them but obviously a big reason for some people is them eating algae and they do a great job of doing that. The, these rocks would always get constantly dirty. If you, if you go back there was, I mean it was just ADA dust but it would just cover all these plants and this tank really didn't look good until now and once they added these like 15 auto sinkless, this tank like now all the S repins, you can see how it's like kind of like, um, yellow white tips from you know the the plant kind of not getting light and not growing so it was kind of fading the color that's not from you know what i'm doing that's that was just from stuff being on the police for so long that it was blocking up the light so nothing was growing same for the um mc it's just now like you could it's kind of looking weird but it's just now like carpeting like it should so doesn't look great right now, but it's actually like actually filling in from once. And then you know Nana P and then Bakupa back there. I just trimmed it down. But yeah, I mean auto sinkless. Let's see if we can get a close up. Yeah, we get a ooh this. All that have been a. Let's see. I don't know if I can find one up close. They keep getting scared. They see the camera. Yeah. At night, you'll definitely see them. They like to school. They like to school together. Um, if you really want some good schooling action, definitely get like a dozen or so. That's definitely gonna work a lot better. A dozen or more. Anything after anything after twelve is a really good number of auto sinkless. But they like to you know stay together tight and just you know feed off what they can during the day. But yeah, I would recommend auto sinkless. Probably one of the coolest algae eaters you could possibly get. They're really cool to watch. They're fun for your tank. I really recommend them. But other than that, come like, subscribe.